Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll show you guys how to set up Fitbit Pay with a password lock as well as ways to avoid locking your Versa out. So let's get into it. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular reviews for various smartwatches and smartphones, software reviews, tutorials and much more. Also check out our playlist tab to find curated playlists for various content we post on this channel. We actually have a dedicated playlist with 70 plus videos all about Fitbit Versa lineup so be sure to check it out. Okay so before I start, for those who don't know. Yes, the newer Fitbit Versa 2 now has a built-in NFC near-field communication for the Fitbit Pay. So yes, you can pay at any merchant terminal right from your watch provided it accepts contactless payment. And just a heads up guys, Fitbit Pay does not have MST, that's the magnetic stripe technology, which is Samsung's proprietary technology to use your watch at a terminal with a magnetic stripe like a swipe from your credit card. With MSD technology, the terminal does not need to have a pay pass, which is pretty amazing. So keep in mind the Versa 2 will only work at a terminal that has pay pass logo on it or has a contactless payment option. Now if you are putting your credit card details on your watch, you want to make sure that it's password protected so in case if you lose your watch, your sensitive credit card details are inaccessible. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that as well as set up your Fitbit Pay on your Versa 2. Okay, so let's go on to the mobile Fitbit app. In my case, I'm using an Android device, but this should be pretty much identical to the, for the Apple device as well. On the dashboard, once you drag down from top, you'll see the Versa 2 with its battery percentage level. Click it to access the settings where you'll find the wallet which you will not find it in the Fitbit Versa as well as the Versa Lite edition because both of these devices does not have Fitbit Pay. Click on the wallet and you'll be prompted to set up the Fitbit Pay. Uh, just keep flowing with the infographic by hitting next and agree. I have already set up my Fitbit Pay so I can't really show you guys the entire process but there is an important step in here uh, in the setup process so please hear me out. You'll be also prompted to set up a password. Make sure you don't forget the password. Fitbit allows a password combination of uh, four numbers. So be sure it's easy enough for you to remember as you don't want your watch to be locked out. During the setup process, you'll be prompted to this screen. Now, if you're someone who will for sure add a credit or a bank card to the Fitbit Pay, make sure you select option number one, which says enter PIN if you take off the device or every 24 hour versus the option 2 which is enter pin for Fitbit Pay only. As I'll show you later on in this video that there is a way to bypass the pin if you select the second option. Fitbit even says recommended over the option 1 and I guess that's the reason for it. Okay, now once you set up the password, you'll be taken to your wallet screen where you get two options, payment and transit. The transit has iPass that says Taiwan only. Good for my friends from Taiwan. Please comment down below if you have used it and your experience with it. It would be so cool if Fitbit, if Fitbit can add some North American transits as well. Anyways, you can check the list of bank and transit compatible with Fitbit Pay by going on to this link. You also get options for payments where you can manage, add or suspend your credit card or bank card. Now the credit card I use is of Capital One company and unfortunately it's not supported by Fitbit Pay. So unfortunately I haven't added any other card. If, if your bank card is supported, you'll be, a, you'll be able to add it up. And if you have multiple cards, you can access all your cards on this page. You can even arrange the card on your preferred order and when you actually tap the watch to pay, your card will be displayed like this on the watch. So you know which one is being used. On the same page, you can also access the last three recent transactions. 
few questions you may have and I'll try to answer them right here is that you do not need your phone beside the watch to use your watch to pay so if you are out for a run and you need to buy a coffee you don't need your phone or wallet yes it's secure to pay with Fitbit pay as like most of the other smart payment options Fitbit also does not reveal the actual credit card number to the merchants or even with Fitbit you can delete or suspend already added credit card for from this page in case if you were to lose your watch currently you cannot add gift or points card to the Fitbit pay and lastly if you sell or give your watch away to anyone make sure you factory reset your Versa 2 I have done a detailed video to factory reset Versa 2 and it's linked up here you can check it out once you're done watching this one okay now let me show you guys how it looks on the watch so if you have selected the uh, the option to enter pin every time you take your watch off you'll be instantly prompted to enter the pin and this is how it looks let me go ahead and enter the pin and you'll be in the watch after that now to access your wallet slide down from the top of the screen to find your wallet fun fact there is no other way to access the wallet on your watch except sliding from top down another fun fact guys if you enter a password wrong for 10 times your watch will be locked as shown in the picture if that happens you have to go and unlock the watch from your phone where sometimes if your watch is not connected to your phone you're pretty much stuck and that's why in the first place I said make sure to remember the password in case let's say if that happens try to keep the watch close to your phone and give a quick restart to both your phone and a watch and hopefully the connection will re-establish and you'll be able to unlock your watch with your phone Anyways, now if you have selected the option to enter PIN only when using Fitbit Pay, then sometimes, let's say if you recently took your watch off and you forget it at a store, someone can easily access the wallet without a password and that's why it's recommended by Fitbit to select the option where you have to enter PIN every time you take your watch off. Now in terms of design for the lock screen, I think Fitbit could have done a better job like the Samsung Pay for the Watch Active series. I personally find their design very elegant and contemporary versus the Fitbit Pay. It's just basic. Well that's pretty much it for today's video. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.